This video is how to use the base network with Trust Wallet. What we're gonna do is add some tokens into our wallet, send and receive them. Then we'll learn how to connect our wallet to any base network app, for example, Uniswap, so that we can swap some tokens. I'll leave timestamps for everything down in the description below. The first thing we'll need to do is add some base network tokens into our wallet so that we can interact with the network. Base is an Ethereum layer two, and that means we need ETH for gas on the network. Now, transaction fees are very cheap, but we do need some ETH to pay for that gas, otherwise we won't be able to use the network. So we're definitely gonna have to add ETH in on the base network and then any other tokens that we want to interact with. Up in the top right of your Trust Wallet, you can see this plus icon right here, so click that. If you don't have a Trust Wallet set up yet, I'll leave the beginner's guide video down in the description. It tells you how to open a Trust Wallet and get everything set up. But from here, what we need to do is choose the base network. So in the left, it says all networks, click that, and then just search for base and it should be here. So base right there. If I click that, these are the tokens on base. Now these aren't all of the tokens on base, just some of the more popular ones. And so for sure, we're gonna need ETH. So I'm gonna toggle that on. And then you can see a bunch of other tokens. So which ones do you want to add? Well, the ones that you want to interact with. So as an example, we're going to look at adding USDC. Now there's a couple of ways to do this. The first one is just to scroll down and see that there's USDC right here, but you can see there's a couple of different versions. So which one do we want? I actually want the native version, which is USDC. So this is actually a token that's been added already. So I can toggle that on no issues. However, what we can also do is manually add these tokens in as well if we want. So I'm just going to toggle this on. We're going to go back and you should be able to see you've now got these tokens added and you can interact with them and you have your addresses. However, we also want to manually add a token just to be sure or if we can't find it. So we're going to go to the top right again and then we're going to press all networks and we're going to search for base. Now from right here, up in the top right, you can see this plus icon again. So I'm going to press that. And what I'm going to do is import a token manually. So I'm going to go to the network and we need to find base because that's where we want to add the tokens in. So that's right here. Then the contract address is important. So what I'm going to do is go to a token registry like CoinGecko. This is going to give me the contract address on the base network of any token that I want to use. So I've just got USDC here. So if you go to the cryptocurrency list, search for any asset that you want that you know is on the base network. From here, I'm just gonna use USDC as an example. And then we're gonna go down to the info. And for right here on the right-hand side, you can see the three dots. I'm gonna search for the contract address on the base network, which is this one right here. So I'm gonna copy that. Then we're gonna go back into my trust wallet and I'm gonna paste in that contract address right here. And it should search for me and because this is a big token and it's already been added to Trust Wallet, it auto populates the details. The name is USD coin, the symbol is USDC, and there are six decimals. So I've added a big coin and it already knows it. But if you've got any other coin that isn't added to Trust Wallet yet, that's how you add it manually. And there you can send and receive it and you see your balances. So I'm just gonna import that. Uh, that's absolutely fine. So go out to the main page. You can see I've imported it here. So you can see that. So that's actually the one that I want to interact with. So I can just disable this and I've got my ETH and USDC. So you can do that for every token if it uh, isn't searchable on Trust Wallet. If we want to use the base network, the first thing that we're going to need is some ETH in our base network address to pay for transaction fees. So I've got the ETH token added in. I'm going to press this and then I'm going to press receive. And this is my ETH network address on the base network. Now this address should be the exact same address that you use for all your EVM chains like BNB chain, Optimism, Arbitrum, Ethereum, all the same network. But in any case, we know this is the token on the network that we want to use. So just to be sure we've pressed that and then I'm gonna press copy. I'm gonna go over to my exchange, buy some ETH and then withdraw it over the base network. So I'm gonna to go to Binance, but Many exchanges now support withdrawals over the base network. Coinbase obviously does, Bybit, Binance, OKX, they all support withdrawals of ETH over the base network and they're all very low cost. 
I'll leave links below to the exchanges I use. If you're new on them, they get deposit bonuses as well. So check the details if you want a deposit bonus and if it's available for you on those exchanges. But in any case, if you have an exchange and you have some ETH bought on there, you can withdraw it over the base network. So I've got ETH right here. I'm going to click this. I'm then going to press withdraw and send via crypto network. If you don't use Binance, it's exactly the same. You have the ETH in your account. You press withdraw via crypto network. I'm going to paste in my address right here. And then it says, which network do you want to use? We have to make sure that we're using the base network. Like you can see, uh, Binance does support the base network and it's going to cost me 13 cents to send this transaction. So you can do it over the base network from Binance and other exchanges but it has to be the base network and not any other network. Otherwise, it will go to your wallet just on the wrong network and not the base network. So I'm withdrawing to my wallet address on the base network. I'm going to choose to send an amount of ETH right here and press withdraw. The ETH that I just withdrew from my exchange, though, has now hit my trust wallet and you can see that balance there. So what I'm going to do is send some of this ETH out to another base network address. So click ETH, click send. And then from here, it says, what is the address that you want to send to? So because we have ETH on the base network, we can only send to other addresses on the base network. We can't send cross chain. So what I'm going to do is go back into my Binance, search for ETH, and then we're going to make a deposit this time. So deposit here. And then from here, you just have to make sure that you're sending and receiving on the exact same network. So we're sending from base and we need to receive that on base as well. You can see that base is a network that is supported for deposits, of course, because we just withdrew from. So base. And then from here, what we want to do is get the address. So copy that. And like I said, this should be the exact same address for all of your EVM addresses. But in any case, we know that Binance accepts base network deposits. So I'm going to paste in my address here and then choose an amount of ETH and then press next. And then from here, we just have to check the transaction details that it's going through to the place that we want. We can see that we're sending an amount of ETH. It's on the base network from our address to another address that accepts that. So we can press confirm. And then it's just going to go through and make sure that we're paying the right fee and everything like that. You can see the fee is almost non-existent on the base network. So that's pending. And that will be going through to the base network address that we chose. If you want to swap tokens on the base network within Trust Wallet, we can do that pretty easily. However, the native swap feature isn't great to use. Uh, I'll show you an example here. So if you go to swap, this is the base network I've got from base and to base. So I'm swapping ETH. And if I swap the token here, so instead of DAI, maybe like another token like Rocket Pool ETH, you'll see that the swap isn't available. So that's not great. If I go back to DAI, you should be able to see that this swap is available but the provider is Rango and they're charging me 60 cents as a provider fee. So it's not great. So what we're going to do is swap our tokens on a DAP directly. So what I'm going to do is go to Discover. And then as an example, I'm just going to show you Uniswap here. But you can use this to connect to any DAP on the base network. So if you want to use One Inch Exchange, which is an exchange aggregator, which gets you the best prices, or you want to use Aerodrome Finance, which is a native DEX on base, or anything else like a lending protocol or some sort of social protocol, just connect to it via this. Um, so I'll show you an example here on Uniswap. So press Uniswap. Right here, it's going to ask me to connect my wallet. So up in the top right, I've got my wallet connected already. So what I'm going to do is actually disconnect and then just press connect in the top right again to show you. Trust wallet. And I want to connect. Now you can see main wallet here is my ETH. I don't want to connect using ETH. I want to connect using base. So I'm going to go down to base here, press that, press connect. Then in the top left, just make sure you're on the base network. So you can see the Ethereum logo next to the Uniswap logo. Press down here, press base, connect. So now I know I'm, that I'm on base. Now from here, I want to swap some tokens. So you can see that uh, it shows me that I have a balance of ETH. So if I click this, you should be able to see balances that you have in your wallet. So yeah, I've got some ETH here. So 0 0.005 that I'm going to swap. And I want to select a token to swap into and I want to swap into USDC and it's going to preview that swap for me. So this is the swap that's going to take place. Seems like the fees are a lot cheaper right here. So that's great. So I'm going to swap, confirm swap, and that goes through directly within the browser. 
You have to approve this with your Trust Wallet. You can see all of the details right here of that transaction. Network fee is five cents, press confirm. And that's actually going through right on an application. So instead of using the native swap in Trust Wallet, we're actually using Uniswap through the DAP browser and that has succeeded. You can use that exact same flow to put through any transaction on a DAP within the browser. So if I just come out of Uniswap here, we're in the browser, type in the URL of the DAP that you wanna use or search for it right here in Discover, connect your Trust Wallet to it. You just had a transaction on the base network. I'll leave some other helpful and more in-depth videos down in the description, plus the exchange bonus links down there as well. I'm James, this is Money ZG, cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.